Here we are, almost two years later, and we're still talking about Tay and Lou? I thought things ended after their breakup happened. It's been like about a year and a half, maybe two years later. The drama continues. I'm a few days behind, but I'ma catch up. So this is the first video. The second video will be coming out to you later today. Make sure you watch. Y'all ready to react? We're gonna start off with Lou. Let's get it. If your name isn't Brooklyn Breed or Tay here on TikTok, please keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. You know why I'm here. It's time. Okay, you knew that none of us were going to be named Brooklyn Tay. But you knew we were going to watch because you put it on your public social media platform. So you also did this for views, but go on. It's time for you to remove the Tay and Lou YouTube. It's been a year and a half, and since our breakup, you have received a check from YouTube every 21st of the month. I have not received anything from the beginning mm. of the conception of Tan Lu and still after mm. Tan Lu is over. I'm still not being treated fairly with this situation. Okay. I find it really hard now that we're not together every month. You're still getting paid from this channel. A penny, $10, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep it short, cute, sweet, as to not take up your time. You have 48 hours. You have 48 hours <laughs> to remove the Tan Lu YouTube channel. Damn. If you fail to remove the Tan Lu YouTube channel within 48 hours, then I will have to proceed accordingly. I hope you make good decisions. What the fuck? Okay, hold on. First off, I do agree with her on that. I don't know the laws when it comes to YouTube channels and co-owning and what is deserved, what isn't. But morally, I do feel that way, too. I feel like if you're still making a profit because views are still continuing once it's ended, if you're still making a profit off of my image on your videos, then, yeah, I deserve half of that for sure. Especially since Tay stopped making videos on that channel. But she waited a year and a half to do this, which is weird. Number one. Number two, this girl gave her 48 hours to do what she's asked of. And if she doesn't, she's going to expose her. What the fuck is that? And what do you mean expose? Don't you mean maybe like some type of legal thing instead of exposing thing? She's hurt about something and she's bitter about something. A year and a half later, I want to know what that is. But let's go over to TikTok now and see Tay's response on her video. I know that you know that I have avoided addressing you on a public platform for a long time, despite the videos that you have put out about me. And I also know that you know you have successfully found a way to force my hand, finally. So for that, I congratulate you. I've avoided having a public dispute with you after the last public dispute we had <laughs> over a year ago, that was crazy. I've avoided too. addressing you. I saw that. Communicating with you, contact, t contacting you. So hold on, Tay. So if y'all if y'all missed it, y'all should have seen it. It was a crazy drama. After they broke up, they made a breakup video together, looking all. This was a mutual agreement. We know we love each other. We're gonna be great friends after this. You know all that same old bullshit. And then it wasn't even that long after. They're exposing each other. There was physical abuse. There was alcoholism. Basically, they both toxic. They both had issues. They both were wrong in the relationship. I don't like neither of them. They're both very selfish. But anyways, go on. All together in over a year because the outcome of the last time this happened, I thought it was going to kill me. I didn't want to be here anymore. I wanted to end my life. I had never experienced that level of public opinion and after experiencing it and recovering from it i told myself no matter what you say no matter what you do i will let you get it out maybe it will lead to you healing and it will go away after today and seeing that after a year and a half of me not saying anything to you that you're still willing to threaten me as opposed to all the other routes you can take, I realize that 
It doesn't matter if I ignore you. It doesn't matter if I address you. You want to see me suffer. In regards to the YouTube video, I will never fight. She's annoying me so bad. This is why I didn't like her when they broke up. She victimizes herself and everything. She's always the victim. Mind you, she did look like the victim of physical abuse, okay? We've seen these pictures of her with bruises and cuts all over her face. Lou definitely fucked her up, and she's obviously wrong for that. I'm against domestic violence. I also want you to understand that she was also poking the bear. She would always take out her camera, filming her while this, while this girl is drunk and intoxicated and angry and all over the place, making comments, trying to pretend as if she's the good one in the situation because the camera is on. I see right through that and a lot of, and most people saw right through it too. They saw how manipulative this girl was. Right now, she's trying to pretend to be emotional. There's no emotional attachment between you and this girl anymore. But yes, yeah, somehow it's hurting your feelings and I try to let you heal and First off, you have no control over that. You can't just let someone heal. That's their life. It's up to them on how, how and when they want to heal. Second thing is, there's no tears coming from her eyes. Her eyes are not even watery. And she's over here acting like she's crying through her voice. Girl, stop playing. But anyways, go on. In this current point in time in my life, over something I hate. Look at her eyes. Something I wish I never created with you. But her voice is very shaky. It could have been deleted with direct communication. It could have been deleted That's with true. you asking somebody to ask me to delete it. That's a fact. Because that channel is the bane of my existence. You've made it extremely public how much money I owe as a result of taking on that income as the sole individual proprietor, as opposed to it being split on paper. I'm gonna reiterate on paper between the two of us. Everybody knows. Yeah, Lou was wrong for that. Anybody that's on any public platform that also makes an income from it also knows when something isn't active, it doesn't make shit. Right, it's after six months. Minimal. That is true. When was the last time she posted? I know she hasn't posted in a long time. So it probably is past six months. That is a good point. If you do not upload a community post, a video, anything, a short, after six months, your channel is not able to be monetized. Oh shit, okay, I missed that part. So based on what I owe mm. versus what the residual income is, which has always been underneath my name, I would never even consider that she would give a fuck in the present time. Back then when we're fighting and all of that stuff, I understand. But a year and a half later, for That's you to, to address me, I agree, like you've girl. addressed me about any of the issues you've had in a way to heal, as opposed to see me crumble, sucks. It hurts. It, it puts me right back into that place of, I don't want to be here. Girl, stop. <laughs> you guys listen i'm very big on mental health and i'm not saying that she isn't going through it but she's putting all of the blame onto one person it is your fault why i'm depressed it is your fault why i have suicidal thoughts it is your fault that i do not want to be here that's not how depression works depression is a is a chemical imbalance in the brain and it's caused by environmental things social things personal things it's not just pinpointed to one thing especially one person one person can make can be part of the problem of making it difficult but she hasn't been around for a year and a half you've been in depression before she came out with that video girl stop it with this victimizing shit the channel is deleted and trust me i have a lot to say about lou she's not free from me i don't want to fight you about anything i want so badly to heal and to escape and to never be referred to as tay and lou again that that's the least i can do if it means you let me be a few months ago it was 
said that you ac- you say that you accidentally sent a package to my house. And then it's insinuated that I stole it. Oh my god. Because I didn't contact you about a package you say you accidentally sent to my house. I'm scared to contact you about anything. I need you to understand that. Why? As traumatic as the situation that we went through was, you don't think that in the back of my head everything you do is to hurt me, is to make me look like something is not. I don't want my name to pop I up mean, in your texts. True. And your- I mean, that's true too, because Lou tries to find anything to expose this girl with. In case you don't know the two, they used to do mukbangs. They had a huge following. I only saw a few videos before they broke up, and I actually enjoyed it. I didn't really get to see the dynamic between the two. I just like watching what they were eating. (laughs) But if I watched them long enough, I probably would have been able to tell the toxicity in that relationship. But I I didn't watch long enough. I just saw right before the breakup and the drama occurred. Log nothing. But it doesn't mean that I ever, ever made it hard for you to talk to me. There's so many people that we know mutually that live five minutes away from me that can knock on my door anytime mm-hmm. that I will receive her open arms. Mm-hmm. If you needed to communicate something to me that you didn't want to communicate to me directly. But instead, you continue to use this platform because you know the only way to destroy me is to have the public destroy me. Girl, stop it. <laughs> You destroyed yourself. It was your actions that Lou was exposing, and the same for Lou. It was her actions that that you were exposing. Y'all did it to each other. But our public opinion was from the things that you guys were doing. Lou did not tell us to go against you. We just saw that other side of you that you never showed us on camera. Again, victimizing herself. But I will say, I think Lou does have alternative motives for this because it's it's really pointless to just come back a year after a year and a half i looked at her channel called just lou and her views are terrible ranging from two to like five thousand views and that's terrible when their channel together used to have about a hundred thousand to close to a million views per video she's desperate for something so it is annoying for i want to, to keep heal coming back so badly lou i want to heal so badly I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I've never did something so fast. Where your tears at, girl? To avoid shit in my life. Because it means nothing to me. The only thing I care about is being alive on this earth and taking myself out of this terrible fucking situation. Taking myself out of this dark ass cloud that is over my head. That's the only thing I want. That's the reason why I haven't said anything to you in a year and a half, despite the many times I've had people come into my stream. Now I know I'm gonna have to hear everybody saying 48 hours. That's not something I want to experience. And it's not something you should want to experience for yourself. That is ugly, giving someone a time. A I don't time know why your hours, healing bitch. journey starts with me hurting because that's not where mine starts. I don't want to have to do this again. I don't. Yeah, that sucks. I don't. Not after a year and a half. Not me waking up to think it's just going to be a normal day. And after a year and a half, it's still something. <laughs> that sucks. Despite nothing coming from my end. I'm so happy none of my exes are that crazy. None of my exes have come back to bring me drama. None of them. We're cordial. I see some of them watch my videos on TikTok, on YouTube. They're supportive. But other than that, I ain't got no crazy exes like that, girl. Nothing. Thank God. I work super hard every day on every platform but YouTube to make ends meet. Yeah, that's true. You're right, girl. What happened to me in depression, the fi- irresponsible financial decisions I've made, being depressed as fuck. I fight every day for that. That's tough. Depression is real. I pray. I'm not mocking her when it comes to depression, obviously. I'm currently not in depression. 
but I know how depression feels like. As most of you may know, I have generalized depression. I go in and out of it. When I'm in it, it's I'm in it for years and it sucks. So I get what she's saying, but what I have a problem with in this video is that she's put is, is that she's shifting all the blame on her depression to to one person. I don't like that. I'm not debating what she's feeling is not real cuz it, it very much could be. So she probably is in a dark hole right now. That all of it being deleted helps you. And Lou could be the tip of the iceberg. So you know, I can continue to heal. Because this is not healthy, bro. It's not healthy. It's not. I don't want to really be threatened. I don't want packages sent to my house. I don't want it to be made to seem like I am actively doing anything to hurt you. When I have zero contact with you ever. Besides this video. Which I have to make. Or else everybody is going to bombard me again. I don't want that for myself anymore. You don't have to make it. If you're afraid of the public saying something. Just do your research behind the scenes, communicate with, try to reach out to her behind the scenes, and if she doesn't communicate back, that's when you hire an attorney. You don't have to come to us. All right, so after that video, she made another TikTok video titled Update. So let's go ahead and watch that. What's up, y'all? Just to let you know, I have spoken to my legal counsel and have been advised not to discuss the topic further because legal action has been taken. There you go. If you guys come to my stream tonight, I am still running my rent slash mortgage giveaway. So congrats in advance to the lucky winner. I see y'all there. What happened with your <laughs> with your acting skills in this one? <laughs> I was I was told not to talk about this anymore. <laughs> I just hired an attorney, but <laughs> I took care of it legally. It ain't in this one. But anyways, so it is now up to the law. Legal action has been taken. You guys, tell me what you think about this drama so far. This shit is getting real in these YouTube streets. I feel like we're not in the inner city no more. We in the suburbs. The law is getting in the middle of everything. Oh my God. Oh, we ain't done with this. Look out for the video I'm about to post. Lou responded on a YouTube video. Oh, here we go. See y'all next time. Peace.